Hello, welcome to another one of my CV2 tutorials. Today we're going to go over two things, the random chips and the parse chips. This should take long, merely because these two, these two categories of chips are not hard at all. So we're going to go over the randoms first. Okay, so let's look at them first and then put them into action. Random int, we have the top pin which just executes our circuit and makes a random number. Then we have minimum and maximum of the number we want. Now, the important thing to, to remember is inclusive and exclusive. Minimum, inclusive basically means the minimum number that is possible to get in a random number. So if we put zero here, the last like lowest number it can have is zero. The max exclusive is basically the max number we can have in a random number minus one because it's excluded which means that whatever is here will be excluded but the thing before it will be used so the best example is that let's say we want a random number from 0 to 5 0 has to be in minimum and because it's in inclusive that means it'll be using it now we can't put 5 here because we've put 5 here the max number will be 4 so for, for, for a random number from 0 to, to 5 we put in 6 because zero is the minimum, of course, but it's inclusive. So it's included, it's used. Zero is included, one is included, two is included, three is included, four is included, five is included, but six is excluded. It's not being used. So basically, the max, the max available number will be this minus one. And on the right, this just gives out a signal as soon as this gets activated and the value basically outputs the random number we have. Now, random float. Random float is, is a bit better because both are inclusive, which means that if we want a random float number from zero to one, we put zero to one. But it's a float, which means that it can be very precise. So 0 0.09, 0 0.0009, <laughs> pretty much anything. So now let me show you an example of these really quickly. So all we're going to do is just get a two string again and a show notification. So we have the best way to possibly show everything. A button, as always. So when I'm going to click it, we're going to generate a random number from zero to five. We're going to pass the value into the two string, two string passes on the show notification, and that's that. So now, Click it, random number 0, 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, if we, and if we keep pressing it, see we have a 5, but well, it's never going to be a 6. So now let's just do the same thing but with float, like that. click it, there you go, 0 0.5137253, because it's a random float from 0 to 1. And of course, we can get the number one, but it's extremely hard to get like a whole float number because these are extremely precise and very random. But that's that for our random chips, basically. That's it. That's all you gotta know. And pretty much you can't do anything else with them. Just make a random number, that's it. So now let's go on to the more useful things in some cases, which are the parse chips. The parse chips basically take text that you give it and it, they try, they don't always do it, but they try to turn the text into an actual number. Now with try, I mean that if we, if you put in W18, for example, here, it's not going to work because W is not a number. It's just, it's a letter. But if you, if you give it only numbers, right, basically just text, then it'll successfully convert the text into a number. Basically, we give it the number, and if it succeeded, right, then it'll output it here. But if it doesn't succeed, this is gonna be this is gonna be useless. But the parse success will give out a false boolean because the parse success always tells us if we succeeded in converting the number or not. So if this is 18, it'll convert text 18 to integer 18. And the parse success will be true because it succeeded in converting the text to a number. 
but if this let's just give in like random random letters here the result won't really be anything right because this is not a number so the parse success will be false because the chip failed to convert the text to numbers and the same thing with float so the only difference is that here of course integer whole numbers one two three four five or just examples of course or parse 0 0.007 0 0.5 whatever and that is that so let me show you a quick example button again show notification and a to string like always Hook that up and the result string will do that ourselves and click it we do that okay so let's give in first this number press it it shows it because it succeeded in converting it it goes in here back into text right and then to show notification now what you can also do is use this so this should be true why is it true because this the text has like the, the chip succeeded in converting the text to a number. But if we do this, click it, it's false because it didn't convert it. It can't convert it. So even if we do this, it's zero. Why is it zero? Because it has nothing to convert. Because this cannot be converted. Same thing with the floats. And that's it for, for randoms and parse circuits. I hope this was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below or message me on Discord. I'll put my Discord down in the description as well. And I hope this helped you. So, and I, pretty much I hope to see you in the next tutorial as well.